Jeff is up. He says, just checking to see if you guys have been using Peter Drew's Google Site Builder, and if so, what results have you been getting? Uh, Marco's been using that a lot. You want to talk about it? We've been testing it, but mainly as a public link, link network rather than to power up the main uh, RYS drive stack, so to speak, since it's all iframes anyway that we work with. And then link building on the, well, we'll call them the, again, PLNs, public link networks, because we're not hiding them. We're leaving them out in the open. We will link build to those. And since they connect to the, to the main G site, they will power up the, the, the drive, everything that's in drive and everything that's connected to drive and happy things are going on. It, again, it, that's going to be covered in one of the upcoming webinars. We have 12 plans. Link building will be covered, and how to how to use G sites. Not not particularly Peter Drew's Google Site Builder. That that just makes testing quicker. I want uh, a G site with a full drive stack, even if it's just for a a public link link network. Yeah, I've been using it um, more for link building than anything. Is to create, uh, you know, because you. Like one of the things I, I've been doing with it is you can create a site with, I think, up to eight pages or you can create multiple sites, right? They're, they're, you can go either way. And I've been testing it um, and using it more for link building. So either for link building to direct to a money site or to a Google Maps listing or to a Google site as that's part of a drive stack. So it, like, you know, whenever I need a stack, I order it from Surfspace and our guys build it. And then when I get that back, the Google site that comes built with the stack, then I will build links to that using the uh, Peter Drew's Google Site Builder. And that, and then basically spam the hell out of the uh, Google sites, that, the Google sites that were built as a private, you know, a public link net net network, a PLN, like what Marco just said. And it's been working well for that. And what's crazy is because they're Google sites, if you spam the hell out of them, right, so you build a crap ton of, uh, you know, links to those Google sites. A lot of the times, those Google sites end up ranking. So, and that's what's good about it, guys. That's why it's a, that's why it's powerful as a private link network. Excuse me, a public link network type of uh, builder because you can spam the Google sites. The Google sites end up ranking, and a ranking site that it, 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 that is linking to your target URL is a good signal. So, you know, because it's a Google property, you can spam it. And it will oftentimes rank for longer tail keywords. And now, because it's ranked on page one, the relevancy put passes through to your target URL, which can be, like I said, it can be a money site. It could be um, uh, a Google Maps URL. It could be uh, a, the Google site from a drive stack. It could be whatever you want it to be. Okay, those are typically my three target URLs. All right, so yeah, it's a really... Really strong. It's a it's a great way to add like to build buffer sites quickly that you can then spam. So maybe we should call them public ranking networks. Yeah. So sure. this is, they they themselves will rank. And actually, what you're creating and 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 what I'm doing also, which is basically the same thing, it, it's dealing with the distance graph algorithm that that I talked about coming. It's it, it's coming on two years when I talked about what was going to happen with PVNs and how you, how you had to change it up. And so that's exactly what we've been doing. We just, we just, as soon as we hear about it, we just move on and start implementing things that will be ready for when Google decides, okay, this we're going to kill that. This is how we're going to kill it, and we're moving on. And this is how we're going to look at links now, right? We talked about this for quite a long time. How Google is reading hops in between links, how far they're going, and that all has to do with the, with the distance graph algorithm. Yep. All right. Next part of that is. Now that RYS Reloaded has come out, when we purchase from Surfspace, are all the new features included in the purchase? You mean the done for you drive stacks? Yes, Jeff. Jeff, those are all implemented as of launch day. So drive stacks that are ordered now all have the new uh, methods incorporated in them. Guys, don't think that you're if you ordered drive stacks prior to RYS Reloaded that they're no longer any good. They're still very effective. They're still working. Uh, so you don't need to go update those. It's not necessary. It's just anything that you order from this point forward or as of launch day forward uh, that will be built under the new specifications, okay? Uh, 